I heard shots. And questions. And questions. And questions. I thought we were just going to be slamming shots. I was like, this is always a, a catch, there's there's always a catch. There's always a catch. always a catch. They had so much effort to the drinking. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna learn a lot about you. Yes. I feel like I'm gonna learn a lot about myself. Yeah. Cause like a couple of shots, inhibitions go to zero. Open book. Open book. See that spare book by Prince Harry? He's getting paid 20 mil to tell people I'd sell in the smoking area after a few drinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh! God, right. What's the most ridiculous fact you know? Oh God. I can't, I can't even think of any facts. If you asked me to tell you what colour the sky is, I feel like I couldn't tell you right now. Couldn't even be sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> why do we do it that way? I don't know. I love American whiskey. I should have eaten more before the shoot. <laughs> yeah, you should have. I learned the other day, and I think you can fact check it, uh, that when you are growing inside your mom's womb, your mouth and your anus start off as the same thing. And when you're developing, your anus develops first, but it, your mouth then develops from that. So at one point in time, you were just a giant asshole, and then the next thing came your mouth. I don't know if that's true. Oh, I Learned really it. want it to be. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? <laughs> is that true? This is going to ruin my Google searches. Oh, Colin's gonna get put in a list. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not true, I'm just saying I in my quick, you know. So so you're a lawyer, if, if they can't prove beyond a reasonable doubt that your fact is not true. Exactly, then it's. Not true. <laughs> Tell us in the comments if she's full of shit. Or is it my mouth and my asshole just full of shit? Oh my god, yes. Mm -hmm. You're talking to You're talking out your I'm ass. My ass. I'm talking out my mouth. Yeah. My mouth, which was once your ass. <laughs> Sean, feel free to fact check that uh, yourself when editing. Yeah. Uh, but it's certainly ridiculous. Whenever I'm asked to tell, like, just something. Uh, strange or like tell a fact mm -hmm. my mind goes to seahorses mm -hmm. so one that they make for life mm -hmm. do they apparently yeah oh that's kind of cute they're real monogamous boys oh. seahorses are real wife guys <laughs> <laughs> male seahorses are the ones that give birth yes and have you ever seen a male seahorse give birth yes i've seen videos of it my god it's a male seahorse just going uh, 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 and, and then like grabbing on for dear life and then all of a sudden ejaculating their spawn. Millions of babies. Millions of babies. Yeah. But like, it's just a vroom, yeah. And it keeps going. And just when you think it's stopped, it's like, but here's some more. But don't they shoot out? I've seen the videos and they shoot out like, like just hold Oh, it's a machine goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> cash dollar bill, yeah. baby. <laughs> okay, I'm rolling in seahorses. Seahorses, baby. One of them's gonna be fucking mayonnaise or something. I can tell you that they're all, they are all liquids. That doesn't make a difference. A spit is a liquid. <laughs> yeah, that is true. She's got you there. Who is the coolest living person and why? I already have it. Do you? Mm. Ooh. Um, Where's your barometer of cool? Yeah, like how does one define cool? It's just someone who wears sunglasses a lot. Mm. In which case is Bono. Sancha. Sancha to our college days. Oh. I look like verbal. My so. coolest person. And maybe I'm just being influenced by the media. Mm -hmm. Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg, yeah. yeah. I think she's doing great things. She's still getting people talking. And if that's the point, then that's the point. And also she had a lot of involvement with getting Andrew Tate either publicly shamed or arrested. So for that alone, what is she like 18? She's a kid, yeah. like I think she's cool. Yeah, nice. she's a great egg. But like, what's her barometer of cool? Can she do a kickflip on a skateboard? I don't know, but I reckon she could give it a go. I think that needs to be like the minimum entry requirement. Like I, cool? I'm not cool. I'm not cool by that metric. I, I can't even stand on skateboards without going. Like what is coolness? It My idea of cool is 1980s teen high school movie cool. So like puffy jock type jackets. Letterman hair, jackets. You know, yeah. has a skateboard, rides a Mustang. 80s, like, okay, I'm, I've been watching Stranger Things again, so like I'm thinking about that sort of cool yeah. Steve guy, you know? Devoid of their politics, just as a person. I am intrigued. Barack Obama is the coolest motherfucker 
in fair. the world at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, fair. my God. Mm-hmm. He oozes something. He like, oozes coolness. something. He's I don't know fr- what it is. He's, just, he's constantly oozing. He's just oozing. No, but yeah. I get what you mean. We've seen Barack in sunglasses. <laughs> Looks great. He's very suave. He he seems like a, a nice guy. Did but, he like, he's that? just... Did he say that? No, no, that I, I said that. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm drunk. Colin. <laughs> Alcohol? I, hmm, it's probably right, being it. Colin. Or blood. Is it blood? If you could live in a fictional universe from any media, book, movie, game, etc., what would it be? I, I already know this. This is the first quest room, and I'm like, yes, I know this. There's I'm an on idea top of this. that immediately came to my head, yeah. but now I'm reflecting on other universes. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Right, okay. Right. Let's launch it. Let's launch it. Cranberry juice. That was cranberry juice. Why did Knew it smell? It. <laughs> Star Wars. It has to be Star Wars. It would always be Star Wars. And here's the thing, Star Wars is a really problematic universe. It's like, it's constantly just everyone's killing each other, everyone's flying around, blah, blah, blah. loads of religious fanatics on one side and religious fanatics on the other, and planets are blown up. Hayden Christensen is killing kids, but... Yeah. Man, like, it, it'd be real cool. Like, yeah. Could you imagine? Could you imagine flying around with a little, little Grogu in the back? Oh, and you're just, he's so cute. It's like, little pet. The idea of what you could be in that in universe. that universe, yeah, it's yeah, like, fair. Would, and I don't know, would I be a Jedi? Would I be a Mandalorian? Would I be just, yeah. would I be a senator? Probably wouldn't. Mm. They were the worst parts of the <laughs> uh, prequel trilogy. Harry Potter. The, the like, Ooh, yeah. Hogwarts, the whole shebang. I've literally loved it since I was nine or 10. I've always resonated with Hermione. When I was like nine or 10 and I read the books before the movies came out, I used to crimp my hair and my dad used to crimp my hair. I don't know, there's just, again, like the way you feel like, I think there's yeah. so much possibility. You can have invisibility cloaks. You can, do you know what? I've, you remember they brought out those sweets and I've always wanted to try all of the sweets that were on the cart on the train. Do you ever play Quidditch? Yes, actually I've played it in college. I played it in college as well. I feel like every college had a Quidditch team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know you're saying the Harry Potter universe, but like in that universe, would you still be a muggle? It's the same universe, but you're just still doing the exact same thing that you're doing now. I know. And then people are off fighting Death Eaters. No, yeah, no. I would like to have the exposure to both. Right. And to be like, yeah, I'm a little witch bitch. I can do my stuff. I don't know if I'd like the idea of going to like boarding school though. Mm. What's your favorite place in Ireland to visit? <gasps> have you been to many places in Ireland? No. No, me neither. I've never, <laughs> I've never been outside of Dublin. So. Have you not? No, I have. Of course I have. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just like, what? Yeah. Up until the pandemic, I hadn't. You had never left Dublin. I'd like visited like uh, Armagh one time to see my friend, but that's still North, Northern Ireland, is it? I thought you were going to say that's still North Dublin. I was like, do you just think, <laughs> do you look at a map of Ireland and you're like, Dublin. it's all Dublin. It's really nice. Oh, is it yeah. raspberry liqueur? It's, it's a real guilty pleasure. It's strawberry schnapps. Strawberry schnapps. We knew there'd be schnapps in this video. Uh, this is going to be the most uh, bourgeois thing oh. I have ever said. Bougie. Powers Court Estate in Wicklow oh. is one of the most beautiful places okay. in Ireland. Amazing. It has a hotel. Mm-hmm. It has the gardens. It has a garden centre that's just like a glorified shop. Gorgeous. And has a distillery. It has everything that I would want, which is a distillery and a place to sleep. That's all you, you that's all you ever that's need. That's all I need. Yeah, I love I'm that. a simple man. <laughs> I'm very easy. My favourite place in Ireland, and I only discovered this in 2020. So we start to lift restrictions around the summertime a little bit, and we could travel outside your two kilometres or whatever. Um, and we went down to, well, sorry, went up to Bundoran in County Donegal and I took up the hobby of surfing. So it was where I discovered that I really like surfing and it has beautiful beaches. It obviously has the Atlantic Ocean in the middle. So we get waves. I don't know, I just fell in love with the place because I figured a new hobby and a thing that I loved at the ripe old age of 27. But when I was there the last time, we were chatting away to this guy who was renting out the ski, sorry, the surf suits and the the, the skiing. Get your story straight. surf suit, I'm just lying. So we went down and it was a rave in a sand dune with about 50 people who I'd never met a few people doing like fire performances and like this really heavy techno music and it was just so much fun and like I just want to go back there all the time. He's reusing some of these. No. Oh. It's medicine-y. It is medicine-y. What are the best and worst purchases you've ever made? Oh my god. I can't think of, even think of a purchase that I've made recently. I, don't I might say. have a fallen out with some family members but ah, screw it. you fun. know what? It's is our own fault. Is that like a bitter? Is that like a Campari? 
That's Campari. I hate that. An Italian liqueur. That is just disgusting. You would give that to people that you don't like. See, this is the coolest people question. The people on the opposite end of that spectrum you would give. Campari is what you make Negroni spagliatos with Prosecco, Prosecco in it. <laughs> this is very cliche and very cheesy, but the best purchase I've made was my car. Oh, um, Look at um, you being a car owner. I know. I love my little car. I gave her. Car? It's a little Renault Clio. What's the car's name? I don't Every know. car has a name. I haven't named her. What? It's a woman though. Oh, it's always a woman. Like, I haven't named her though. You feed it. You take it for walks. Exactly. Take it out the back to do its business. And you actually do have to take it for drive, so otherwise it will not be good. Yeah. Otherwise you'll forget how to drive. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. just bam into a wall. The worst thing that I can think of off the top of my head, um, it was my mom's 60th birthday. And she had a 60 inch telly in the house that had developed a bit of a crack in it. And I was like, for her 60th, I'll get her a new 60 inch. Because it's a big birthday, she doesn't yeah. have a big present. That was two years ago, still sitting in the box. Um, because the telly I bought didn't fit on the stand she had. But then every time I'm up in her house, I'm like, hey mom, that's a, a real good thing in the hall. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a couple of grand's worth of telly there. I love that she, she loves the stand more than the couple of grand's worth of telly. Yeah, and it's a nice, it's a really nice telly. I can't believe this is how your relationship with your mother ends. She cuts me video. out of the wheel after this, yeah. I was gonna say, you're done. <laughs> Best purchase, I feel like, is really on brand for Darren, the alcohol <laughs> yeah. guy, the whiskey dick and all that, but. Wow. I know, what? Who, who calls you that? Oh, I call myself that. Right. So in my mind, people who are really <laughs> Don't into- Don't do that anymore. <laughs> what? The best whiskey I've ever had mm -hmm. is called Rebus 27. Okay. Best whiskey ever. And my best purchase was when I decided I am going to buy this. Okay. I have absolutely no regrets. I spent a ridiculous amount of money I on it. I was gonna say, is it really expensive? I haven't even opened the fucking <gasps> thing yet. Oh but it's God. there and I know it's there anytime I want it. What is your worst? My worst is a bottle of Repress 27 because I haven't opened the fucking thing yet. It's just sitting there. I've spent 260 euros on something that I haven't done anything with for a year. What am I meant to, I'm just meant to look at it? Hang on, but you didn't open the last one. So what's the logic there? No, it's the same bottle. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Real citrusy. Is this mouthwash? If you had a time machine, what year would you travel to and why? I'm gonna get emotional. Oh yeah? Oh. oh my god, I gotta cry. I think I might do the same thing. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna cry. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't think this was happen. <laughs> it's the alcohol, I swear I'm not a soft bitch. Okay. Do you need a hug? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got my answer. <laughs> I also have my answer. Okay. It's Gordon's on alcoholic gin. Is it? It's like water. No. Ugh. That's a bit like Gordon's okay. non alcoholic gin. It's Gordon's non <laughs> You are so weird. That's that's actually No, like that's actually not even impressive. It's, it's come so far around it's being impressive. <laughs> it's That's so just kind of lame. No, it's actually problematic. So you, who's gone first, you? Oh, I get the decision. You go first. Okay. Uh, I would go back to any year preceding 2011. And that was because my dad passed away in 2011. And he passed away really suddenly. Um, oh my God, I'm actually getting really upset. And there's loads of conversations that I wish I could have had with him and I didn't have with him. So I think if I had the knowledge I know now and to go back to those times, I would have had the conversations and hugged him a little tighter. So sorry for getting emotional. <laughs> okay. okay but yeah, that's my answer. And I, I think about that all the time. I think like, oh, like, could you have said those things? Could you have done those things? So that's my answer. Mm -hmm. Fuck, Ollie is making me cry. <laughs> In a similar vein, okay. I would go back to 2001. Uh, my grandmother passed away in 2002. She was 54. Oh, wow. That's so she young. was very young. I remember the day that I realized it was just after her anniversary. I was like, I have now been on this earth longer without her than, than I have her. been with her. Yeah. yeah and it was true. kind of the moment of like, oh shit, like this is, like she was such a big impact on me. Okay. I want to say a lot of the good stuff that exists in me. Is because of her? Is because oh, of her. Oh, that's such a lovely thing to say. So I would love to go back to 2001 and just have a bit of time. Um, and then I would also tell her to buy stocks in like Apple or something. <laughs> just, just, for, just for the grandkids. <laughs> Because the inheritance wasn't that much. <laughs> Swear, um, Nana, they're gonna go huge, you know? Yeah. yeah. She was arrested for stealing a door. She took the gate off the side of a house off its hinges 
and led to. Like, she could also be a very unreasonable woman at the same time. Someone who steals a door might be a bit unre oh, unhinged. Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the best thing I've that's, said all year. <laughs> that's well, well done. Is this bison grass? <laughs> Is it? You know by looking at it. If you had to Freaky Friday body swap with a person for a day, who would it be? Have you seen Freaky Friday? I have not seen Freaky Friday. Okay. I'm, I'm familiar with the premise of Freaky Friday. Lindsay Lohan, Jamie Lynn Curtis, you need to go home and watch it. Jamie, it, Jamie Lee Curtis. Sorry, I'm thinking of Jamie, Jamie Lynn Spears. Spears. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis. What's that? Tastes like tea. Yeah. Nori, seaweed liqueur. Uh, liqueur. You got the leafy taste off it though. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sea leaf. Anyone for a day. Who do we? Each other? Yeah, I think we'd buy. <laughs> you want to experience life as a woman. I want to experience life as a man. Bish bash bosh. That's it, because I feel like we, we both exist in the same world. Yeah. We go through the, this, I'm sure the same days, we have the same, you know. Rosters. Rosters, same all that. Same social life. But like, you never know a person until you have inhabited their body and you can't do that. In real life. Yeah, do you ever hear that saying you don't know someone until you walk inside their body? Yeah. yeah. I would like to experience having a penis and how easy it is to pee standing up and... It's pretty great at gunshot. Yeah, tell you. and I would very much do the helicopter if I had one. I would love to experience it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah, you know. Just be, careful. Just just be careful where you do it. We just threw you out the shower. Um, I wouldn't... Oh God, I can't believe I'm going to say this on the Ew. internet. Go on. I'd love to experience the female orgasm. Really? Because I want to know how different it is. Oh, that's a like good I, one. Like our yeah. one is just so. It's both. Is, is your one quick? Yeah. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Does it take you long to get there? I'm I just mean, not it's, saying. It's the experience overall, quick. It's a bit like a seahorse giving birth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this question was. Whose body would would you want to inhabit? And I was like, I'd like to experience the female <laughs> orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> Taurus. No, I'm a cancer. But I also oh. don't believe in any of that junk. Like, don't disrespect my religion. Darren. Star signs <clears throat> are an excuse for people to not better themselves. Ooh, such a cancer thing of you to say. <laughs> Who would you prefer to sound like? Mickey Mouse oh. or Gilbert Godfrey? And this question comes from Sam Fuller on Patreon. I thought there was going to be, a, you could just pick your own answer. Yeah, I was going to be like, oh, James Earl Jones. Absolutely. I was like, James Earl Jones. Morgan Freeman. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't care that I'm a woman. <gasps> Barry White, have you ever heard him? Has the deepest oh, yeah. should, should we take our shots first yeah, before we do actually, this? Yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. Just... Oh, it's so strong. Uh, 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 Mickey Mouse. You go for Mickey. I'd go for Mickey. You'd go for Mickey. Oh, oh, I think I'd probably make it as a really good child entertainer. If I was Mickey Mouse. Yeah. I think the other one's a little bit hard to listen to because he's a bit shouty. If I was a lawyer. Yeah. Your Honor, may it please the court, I would like to cross-examine my witness. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. You must acquit. Is it ironic that his <laughs> laugh sounds a bit like Mickey Mouse? Yes! Oh, Gilbert Gottfried. Really? Because he was constantly shouting, it makes me feel like that wasn't his full voice. Okay. That that was an exaggerated version of what he sounded sure. like. Okay. So I'm sure, like... He actually probably sounds grand. He's probably, like, him at a whisper? But you have to do the shouty one. Do I? Did, uh, that wasn't in the real book. Fine. You win this round, I win this Darren. round. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, you win this round, Darren! Of course I win this round! <laughs> This is apple. Oh, is that a, is that a... Cup? Apple teeny? If a crystal ball could tell you one true fact about yourself, what would you want to know? What would I want? Oh, I'm gone, I'm gone dark with this. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, oh. Mm. <clears throat> uh -huh. uh, <laughs> it's apple something. Apple service? Apple brandy. Longville House from County Cork. Apple Jack Daniels. Apple Jack Daniels? That's fucking gorgeous. It's very nice. You, you go, you go. I'll decide what my one is. If I had one. a crystal ball in front of me right now, and again, I'm sorry for going morbid with this, I would want to know how and when I die. How and when you die? Mm. Oh shit. I know, heavy, right? Here's a question for you. Yeah. Would you, would you rather know 
Right. The year that you die or the month that you die? Oh, the year. The year. Yeah, 100%. Because if someone said to me like 2050 or something, right? Which is way too young, by the way. But just someone said 2050. You could have 2050 in the back of your mind and be like, right, I have so much shit to achieve up yeah. until then. But if someone said to me, you're going to die in May. I'm not going to tell you what May. You're just going to die in May. Any May, yeah. Every fucking April I'd be sitting in the coffee like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, so yeah, year 100%. Because yeah. then you could just put it in the back of your head, going right, done, yeah. And I think I would go with year as well, but yeah. I also understand the logic of, okay, it's a, it's a short-term thing that you have to deal with once every 11 months. Nah, no. I have a bad enough time celebrating your birthday. I hate, <laughs> no, I hate and you, it. You do that over a month as well. I hate getting older. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, Chris will walk to you and want you to talk about yourself. What would you want to know? What if I had several, several close calls where I've nearly shit myself? <laughs> It's never happened, but I've gotten to the edge. The first time we <laughs> go back to um, the 1990s, seven-year-old Darren was playing pool in, in Spain. Oh, and the pool. Not, not in the pool, okay. playing pool. I'm and sorry. I, playing pool. <laughs> I was just expecting a floater. No, there was no floaters. <laughs> I remember thinking like, I need, to, I need to go to the toilet right now. To the point that, okay, what would your definition of shitting yourself be? Shitting yourself. The poo, Fully out. The poo coming it. No, touching cloth. <laughs> I'm gonna say it was half to three quarters of the way out. Okay. Okay. Right. It <laughs> ran up to the room. Okay. <laughs> finished. But obviously, I'm seven years old, so my parents are like, "What the fuck has just happened?" And um, they obviously saw the cloth, and my dad. <laughs> For several years later, any time that was brought up, I was brought being back to like a seven-year-old child yeah. with the mark of skid. Yeah. Shit happens. Shit happens. Final question. Is, I know what this is. No, I don't. If the world was going to end tomorrow, what's the last thing you'd do? Our let's brains just, might be more lubricated it. if we just neck it. Is that caramel vodka? Salted caramel vodka. Look at you. Who do you think you are, me? I was just gonna say, you're rubbing off on me. I feel like the correct answer to this mm. is congregate with your family. Yeah. Say your goodbyes. Yeah. Have a lovely, wholesome moment. Yeah. The real answer. <gasps> Completely hedonistic. Fuck everything. Yes, yes, why is my head? <laughs> yes, beeline. Beat it off. Get in every hole, get in every orifice, and just do it. Yeah. No one's gonna be around to regret it. No. No slut shaming, no STDs, no babies. These are all dead. What happens if the world doesn't end, though? You're just a slut. Then. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, I don't just, know. just imagine everyone like, oh shit. Oh, I was kind of hoping for the heat death of the universe there. Oh. Giant shined all the coworkers in. No. No, um, no. Yeah, instead of like, gather your friends and family. My brain went complete hedonism. So I was like, eat the best food, drink mm. the best drink, go surfing, do like the things that really give you joy. Like that's where my head went. I was just like, pleasure, 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 pleasure. But then Darren was like, you know, you should meet with your friends and family. And I'm like, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'd be a nice thing to do. <laughs> Maybe after my day of debauchery. Who'd you get up to? Who'd you get on top of? You yeah. Know? <laughs> like Who you... got it up for you? <laughs> oh, let me poor ma, right? Sorry. Because yeah. my last meal on earth would want to be her Sunday dinner. And I don't want her spending her last day cooking me Sunday yeah. dinner. <laughs> She'd have to do. The last day before the apocalypse is the one day she puts the TV up. <laughs> <laughs> this months ago. Jesus, Carnation Street's very good quality, isn't it? Look at the pixels. <laughs> you can really see the asteroid coming towards the planet. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, shut up, I get in the kitchen, we're gonna die tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> 10 shots and 10 questions. So what do you think of the experience? I, I look great fun. I, I really shouldn't have told the shit stories. <laughs> in hindsight, that was a really bad idea. Do you think this uh, game is a fun way to get to know people? Yes. I, you, you, you probably find out too much about people. And yep. their bell movements. Mm. Yeah, they're questions that I've never thought about before. Like, I never thought about having Mickey Mouse's voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that question. Yeah. Do you remember several drinks ago? <laughs>
What a time to be alive. It's all on us now because there's no one else who can do oh, this. Shit. Thanks for yeah. watching and subscribe. Yeah. Just put in like John Sharps and Aideen in this one as well. And said, hey guys, thanks for watching, yeah. like and subscribe. Come back every Monday, Wednesday and, and Friday. Friday. They'd be saying to comment. Click the They'd bell. Be, click the bell. Yeah. They'd be so much better They'd at this They'd be so here. much better at this year. <laughs>